Gordon Allen, how does it feel sitting with the trophies in front of you? Brilliant. It's over. What we set out, aye. What we set out to do at the start of the season, we didn't. We were. We built a team to, to win it, and I'm glad to say we have. Yeah. It's been a phenomenal season, obviously. Um, what's been your highlight of the season? I think when you look back at the the league table and you see the stats, like goals scored, goals conceded, points, the wins, like oh, it's, it's been a phenomenal season. Twenty five wins at twenty eight games. I mean, phenomenal season on right. the park. Right. It's been great. And even in all competitions, uh, you're talking one hundred and forty six goals scored. Only 30 conceded in 35 games. That's, that's it. That's unbelievable. That's it. We come up against two two challenges in the, the Cups, mm. which one, we were beaten fairly by Davo. Can't, can't have any complaints with that. Um, I think the, the other Cup game that we lost, it could have went, went, went either way. The wind, the, the weather played a, a factor. And how much of the credit would you say goes to the, the club's sponsors and partners? from this season. Amazingly. Because uh, obviously without their support it would be impossible for us to run a, a day to day business. That's it. Like, the, their help all through the season has been great. Um, yeah, financially yeah. help with, with, with South Lanarkshire yeah. Council and help them do the grounds, like, help them the upkeep. Like, it's, without them it's, it would have been a, a lot harder than, than what it's been for myself and Gordon. And what are the plans for next season for strengthening and uh, are there any plans to improve the facilities? There's always ongoing work and which we started at the beginning of this season which will continue. But as Alan says, there is only three of us, so it is hard when two are working and suddenly not saying down to one man, but there's only one man that can do the work. But hopefully uh, we'll carry on and get the work done. So. So what fundraising will the club be putting in place ahead of the new season? Well, as as most clubs, you know, fundraising's probably one of the hardest things you can do. Um, Got a few things, obviously when the kits come out. Yeah, well that's yeah. it, the fans, the fans bought that kit and mental numbers, it was great. Um, so we're hoping, fingers crossed, that we can, we can get the same response. Um, Partnered up with Club Shop Direct and Lion Cards to get T-shirts, key rings, some merchandise. And we've got two, two really good partners. Mm -hmm. They're putting out like really good stuff. Um, I know there's been quite a few people, even from down south, that have bought. Um, so I think if we can continue to grow partnerships with guys, with the guys there, it can only benefit us. Um, and of course, we've got a Player of the Year coming up. At the end of the month, obviously raffles and auctions. That's it. Throughout no. the season. That's it. Like we did, with an extra helper at the weekend there, which allowed us to put out some signed tops. Um, as a fans know, they usually see me running about like headless chicken trying to count the change. Um, so with the extra, if we can get some extra bodies in, yeah, to help yes. us on match days. Then, then we can start doing more stuff um, on the days. And then and I, I talk about match days, uh, match day sponsors, match day ball sponsors, you know, th things like that. You can all bring the money in. And obviously, there's, there's some cup games up And there's the, 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 Yeah, we've got one uh, weekend Saturday, a wish up, which I'm sure we could do with a match ball and a match day sponsors. So, so if there's any sponsors out there, get in touch. Get in touch via the, any social media. Lot of opportunities. Yeah, a lot of opportunities. Yeah, a lot of opportunities. We've got the, the home, the home at the top, the way top, tracksuits, training kit. We've got everything that the boys wear. Match day training. They all they all need sponsors. Then of course there's the big one. Player sponsors. Pitch side sponsorship as well. Pitch side. What are some of the challenges that, uh, there's been this season, which the fans might not have been aware of? It's just day to day. <laughs> Thanks. Just a day to day upkeep and running and a maintenance of the park. You know, keep it, get it match, match day ready, which That's it, we're isn't right. always, I must say, easy. But, but again, when it's only down to one man, it's sort of four or five That's days it. a week, four or five hours a day. No, like Gordon's at the park, it's a lot of credit that has to go to Gordon. He's at the park 
like you said, four times a week. He cuts it, rolls it, he is, Lines he it. Die, does everything on the park, so I credit has got to be given. If it's just next year, if you get line it, if it's in front of it. Is that? Yes. Is that worth it? Again, that's it. well worth it this season. Yeah, well that's it. You, you, well worth it. you go to clubs that have got loads, like 10 plus committee members that help them run the day to day and there's three of us yeah. and obviously Paul and Billy, the two managers, there's five all in so it's, it's hard work. It's hard. And obviously a, a lot of those clubs still have additional resources to help them to... That's it, bigger budgets, more people. What are the priorities for ensuring that um, the club do improve next season and don't just stand still and be content? Obviously, again, that's down to the management team. I'm sure they'll be looking at bringing in players, seeing what they want to keep from this season. And obviously, okay. once they know, we'll know and branch over there. I think, I think with how well we've done this season, a lot of, play, like, a lot of players will be looking and potentially... Want to come? Yeah. Like, try and keep as many as we can, because we've got a great base. I'm just going to keep good, a, good good players, but it's, I mean, the whole, the whole a good squad. A good squad, of boys, so if we can... It's down there. obviously down to the managers to see where they think they can strengthen, um, where they need to strengthen, um, and then see what budget we have. That's it. And finally, have you got a message that you'd like to send to the fans? Just basically a big thank you for the support this season. I, as I say, we decided during COVID to pull out for the very reason of the fans, and this year they've repaid and came back in their numbers and. Again, what we've repaid you by, what we've put what we've managed to put out in the park. So, a big, big thank you to yep. all the fans. Yes. It's been Sticky Wears and coming back. Not just at home, but the amount of yeah, well, that's support the away, has been phenomenal. The away support. Yeah. I, think, I think we're one of the only clubs in the league that I've, that I've seen um, that bring a lot like of the uh, away, away fans. Mm-hmm. Um, the away fans have been the fans have been brilliant. And the right? team has been well. The fans will follow you. That's it. There's... It's certainly don't know how many of the first halves I've actually seen because the amount of fans that have came, I missed the first fifteen minutes because there is people still coming in the door, yeah, which is I'm happy. Which is good, guys. What you want? <laughs> yeah, let's just hope for the next season the Premiership will. Oh, that's it. Entice even more locals. No, the fans have been brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. And, like, and again to our sponsors for the support over the years.